What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and today as you can tell by the title of this video, I am selling a bunch of my collection. I get this question every time like, Alec, are you getting out of the sport? No, I just have way too many guns and if you guys have been paying any attention over the past month, you know that I have got a ton of unboxings and obviously I cannot use every one of them. Um, I am going to be playing on June 28th. We're doing an Alec Mac 101 first annual. I'm going to kind of put some more things in like a post on the subscription page where you guys can see and have more detail. But it's at Splatter Park, June 28th, Sunday. Justin is getting a bachelor party. You'll see him at the end of the video. And so we're doing that. As many of you didn't come out, it'd be awesome. Um, last video, there was $1,500. Those are the guests. I think like three people guessed it right. So that's like 15 people that have won patches. There is not going to be a guesstimate of how much this collection is as I don't even know to be honest but I have done these videos in the past it's been a little while since I've done a sale collection video um, I will basically do this you'll read from left to right it'll all be in the description I take PayPal cash app or Venmo you can use Instagram is probably the best hop up will be the second best and then like Facebook Messenger um, if you are a serious buyer only these are the times where I can't have people waste my time even if you guys are younger like 12 14 I get it I was there I didn't have a ton of money when I was your age work summer jobs that'll help you um, I think I got my first AEG when I was like 13 or 14 because I worked a summer job. I worked and I worked hard and I got like $600 and I saved my money and I bought a really nice, um, <laughs> well, it was really nice at the time. It was like a SIG 552 from, uh, I think it was a cyber gun and it was like $140 and I was like super excited. Awesome gun. Um, but we're going to do accessories first. So bam, here's a picture of accessories. There are a lot of things here. Like I said, they will all be listed in column on the description. I will update it as soon as I sell something. I will go straight to the description. I will be like, this is sold. Some of this stuff sells out insanely quickly. So you guys, if you want something, you got to go right away. The people that watch it at seven, buy. if you watch it at eight, um, it, stuff might be gone. So just pay attention to the description and then contact me. I sold literally a ton of stuff in like the first three days last time I did this. So this is going to be wild, but let's get into it. I'm going to try and number them as well once you get it. So I accessories already and then now we're gonna do mags so I have way too many mags all of them are here I have some AG some gas well back some system of mags all right there all right, now that we're at guns, we're going to do HPA, and then I'm going to do AEG, and then I'm going to do gas blowback rifles, and then at the end, we're going to do pistols. I have a lot of pistols as well, but first up, I'm just going to try and go through these as quick as possible. It will have more in the description. This is one of the most custom upgraded Polar Stars I've had in a while. This thing is super, super nice. It's a VFC VR16. Um, it will come exactly looking like this. you got some really nice sights up here on the top. Suppressor, um, everything will come with a basic high cap magazine, everything rifle that you buy will do that. Also, I'm going to do, for everyone one of you spends over $500, I'm going to give you a free patch, and everyone that spends over $100, I'm going to give you a free sticker. Polar Star number two. This is a sweet ICS SIG 551. I've actually had this for sale for a little bit, and I'm surprised nobody's pulled the trigger on it, because I think they are a little bit rarer and harder to find, and it's taken some really nice uh, jack internal work on here. The guy's customized it. looks really good. Um, he put a speed trigger in it as well, and then it just a really nice, fast, light gun, and it will come with the high cap. All right, Polar Star number three. This is probably the gun that'll fly off the shelf quicker than possible. Um, this thing is literally as upgraded of a VFC 416 as you can do. Sure Shot Midget has upgraded this, tuned this, he has done everything with it, and it is incredible. Shoots really, really well, has a max hop up, all the upgrades internally, has a really nice flash hider, AFG, and stock will come with it. Iron sights will not come with this unless you want to pay extra for the Emba sights. Um, IGL, great gun. All right, now to start the AEGs. This is an ASG Bren. These are really nice guns. I got this in a trade. Um, and so the Pistol grip, because of USPS, how they treated it, it did crack a little bit. It does not fu affect function at all. I've super glued it, and then I put a tough one grip on it as well. It doesn't even look very bad, but it does have a little bit of just when some of those things happen. They got a really nice stock. Um, it will come with this AFG2 on it as well. Nice iron sights. I think these are the ones that included, so it'll come with that. Gun is a really cool little silver and black combo, and it shoots really well. All right, up next, we have the first of two of the Crytac LBOAs. I think I have like three Crytacs in a row now. This is a Crytac LBOAS. It will come with these XTM panels. This is like a little laser light combo flashlight up here, and then it has some G&G &G irons as well. This is a really nice gun. If you know anything about the Crytacs, they're so good. The S version is a little bit shorter than the C version, um, which is funny because the C you'd think was like compact, but they came out with the LVOAC first and then released LVOAS. I really like this one. I think this is one of the nicest builds possible. Next Crytac that is a basic Crytac is a Mark II SPR. This is actually the build I have done with my Polar Star. This is a Wolf Gray like the other one. Um, will come with this. It will not come with this flash hider. I have to put a different one on there. Um, and then this gun's really nice, it has not been used that well. Most of the stuff I am selling in this video is either lightly used or I will say something different. And if it's only lightly used and well loved, then I'm gonna keep it like that. But if it is not, 
If it's a little bit more like, hey, this has been used more, I will tell you that, so don't worry. Up next is another LBOA. So this is an Umbrella Armories. This might be the most expensive gun in the entire video. I think this is. This is an Umbrella Armories upgraded Crytek LBOAC. It's like one of the $1,500 or $1,700 versions of this. I got this in a trade from a dude named Jason. I traded him my nicest Polar Star that I've ever had. I think DMR-wise for it, um, but I love the Umbrella guns. I just have... I have too much of an affinity for Polar Star, so I kind of stick with that. However, this is an awesome, awesome build. All right, up next, we have one of the old discontinued KWA Magpul ERGs. I don't know if the ERG system from KWA just did not do well. I have heard that these sometimes have issues, but I really think the idea is awesome. The fact that you can have an AEG with recoil, I just don't know how they perform, but this gun is in great condition. It shoots well. We'll come with a normal magazine. I did sell all of the magazines for the ERG, but this is an awesome, awesome rifle. Comes with the Magpul handguard, and then I got some rails on the bottom of that as well, and then the PTS grip and the system of style stock. Up next, the first of two KWA AEGs. This is a tried and true KWA SR7. I got this from a dude in Columbus. It shoots very well. It is a really nice, just basic gun. One of the first upgraded AEGs that I ever had. Um, this one's in really good shape. It's one of the newer versions. I, they kind of switched branding a little bit ago, but the SR7, I think the KWA SR7, 10, and 12 were one of the best guns that have ever been created at the time they were released. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Up next, we have the second of the KWA AEGs. This is an SR10, so a little bit longer brother. Um, this one has been spray painted on the outside, so it's a little bit less nice condition. Um, like I said, I will tell if it's a little bit less nice condition. The gun still shoots and functions properly. This was just one of the kids that I got it from. This was his workhorse, the gun he loved the most, gun he used the most. It will come with this, and it will come with this uh, Aimpoint Comp 2 style repro, but it does not have a flash hider. It's an awesome gun. Really, really nice. Up next is another one of the guns that should fly off really quickly. This is a VFC Scar L. Um, these things are just really, really high quality. They are priced pretty well for what you get. VFC is an awesome brand. It does come with a really cool muscle brake on the end here, too. I kind of want to keep this, but I think I'll include it to the buyer. But who knows? I'll, if you want this, we'll see. Because I may kind of keep this muscle brake and use it on something that I'm building soon. Wink, wink, and hit. Uh, but this is an awesome gun. It shoots really well, um, like I said. And VFC just creates the best scar. Thank you, McMullen. Up next, we have one of the upgraded. These are like the EMG, Shell Break, Warthog, yada, yada, yada guns. Um, these are basically upgraded Ares Amoebas. They have all the Ares externals, but they do have metal bodies instead of those older plastic bodies. I got to use these when they were first being released. For those of you that didn't know, I worked with a shot for a little bit, but these are awesome little guns. This thing is so cool. I think this is like the Sharp Bros Warthog 10.5 inch or what it's called, but this is an awesome gun. Another gun I expect to fly off really quickly. Up next, we have another gun that's really nice. I had a dude that was going to buy this literally as soon as I released the video, and he paid me a little bit and then backed out, so... Here it's back up. This is a 6mm Pro Shop Evike BAMF gun. It will come with a Strike Energy Spot, the Hex Suppressor, and this. Um, this thing is really nice, and for the price-wise, I think this is one of the coolest guns on the list. It just feels really good. It has like a lot of those anti-rotation pin style, real steel grip. Even the trigger is like a flat-faced real steel grip, kind of like my uh, Palmetto Armories AR. Just a nice gun. Up next, we have one of a few combat machines. This boy is a super nice stubby. This has been put together by SureShot Midget. It has been upgraded, I believe, a little bit. I'll try and make the parts list if I can see it, but anything that SureShot Midget upgraded, you know, is approved. Um, it's got a Noveski KX3 that I'm including, iron sights. The aim point will be extra. Usually, I'm going to have, I'll probably have these, like, they're like 50 bucks, but red dots are really nice, and I will have an accessories thing you guys already saw at the bottom. Um, and then this will include a G&G &G high cap as well, but it's a nice little build. Up next, we have RIP Justin in the uh, AEG world. He has switched to HPA, so he doesn't want anything to do with AEGs anymore. But this is a nice little build. Sure Shot Midget has tuned this. Um, I think he put all the stuff that was in Justin's previous AEG build together. And so this is a really nice gun. It's going to be sweet. It will come with this stock as well. And then the rail system is just a basic tri rail system. And then um, it is like all GMP kind of inside, except for a few upgrades, I believe. All right, up next we have a G&G combat machine. This is the last one. This is just the basic combat machine Raider series. Um, it does have a Mad Bull Airsoft sticker there, which is kind of cool. Um, but this is just as basic as it gets. Really good starter gun. Up next, towards the end of our M4s, this is an Elite Force MCR. This is a nice little build. I have not actually fielded any of these Elite Force guns, but I've heard pretty good things about them. has a nice uh, key mod rail system, tango down grip, cool little trigger. And I believe these have a MOSFET on the inside, and then it's got an Ares Amoeba style stock. I don't think they could. It's literally the same thing, but I don't think they've officially uh, said, oh, this is Amoeba. Oh, no! <laughs> you can't say that on the YouTube! <laughs> 
All right, up next we have an Elite Force Umarex G36. I believe this is like the Sportline version. It's the Heckler and Coke uh, version of it. It's the real one. It's really nice. It's a good gun. Um, I do not have vice grips to take this orange tip off, so that is a little bit unfortunate. But it has a red inner barrel. If it tells you anything, I'm not super familiar on G36s, but I believe this is the cheaper version of the new Elite Force runs, and it will come with the high cap. Up next, we have an MP5K. I'm actually not exactly sure what brand this is. Because of that, I'm probably going to sell it for pretty cheap. I heard somebody, I posted this on Hotbun, people like, oh, it's probably the really nice Elite Force version. I don't know. It has no trades, and I thought Elite Force usually trademarks their stuff, but it's really cool. This is my favorite style MP5. Um, either this one or the A5, the A4, are like my two favorite MP5s. But this was the first Springer I ever got. I had a Spring one of these. That was like $15 I got at Target. Up next, we have a Tokyo Murray SIG 552. I love this gun. It does need uh, the motor put in. I don't know if this is a complete gun, as uh, the price will reflect that. I think this is mostly kind of a parts gun slash working. I just don't have time to work on it with everything going on this summer, and I don't know the SIG platform very well. But it's really nice. The externals actually have all the real trades in there too, which are kind of hard to get on the SIGs. And then it shows the TM trades here as well, and it does include the scope mount. And then I believe this is a mid cap, yeah. Up next is the nicest Russian gun of the trade. This thing is awesome. This is an LCT AK. It does have the real wood furniture there. Um, this is an older version. I believe it's like the AK Tim's, but this is uh, this is really nice. If I were an AK guy or played any Milsim West events and ran um, the AK like Russ 4, I would probably keep this. But I just really like M4s, and I'm kind of an M4 guy. And like I said, I have way too many guns as it is. Hello, welcome back, friends. This is Bob Boy Board. I want you to vote to see if Alec Mack should keep this thing. Get a thumbs up if you think he should, and give a thumbs up if you think he shouldn't. <laughs> no, double, double click the thumbs up button, or the thumbs down button. <laughs> you heard it here. Double click the thumbs down button, and then click the thumbs up button. Thank you. <laughs> All right, up next, you guys saw this in my scammer crap video. This is just a parts javelin AK uh, APS something. I'm selling this really cheap. Someone who wants to work on AKs, I will include all the externals that it came with it. You can watch that video if you have not yet, but I just don't have time to work on AKs, nor do I know anything about internals and specifically AK internals. Up next, the only sniper of the bunch. I got this in one of my unboxings and I believe this is like a Matrix sniper. It will come with like three or four magazines, I believe, or at least two, I'm not sure. Um, but this is like a Matrix L96, really nice weapon. It feels really good. It, I don't think this has been used hardly at all. It is very, very new, um, but it shoots well and it shoots good. And if you wanna be like Novrich, you can buy a cheap one of these. Shotgun me. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to get a real shotgun and just be able to like hit it do the like the but obviously you can't with a spring shotgun uh, I believe this is like a Sima shotgun of some sort this is like the Remington style shotgun pretty cool pretty cheap this is a single shot it is not a tri shot shotgun it's got the little baby magazine in there uh, these are one of the things we use we got like spring pistols and then we move to spring shotguns and then AEGs so if you're one of the beginners and you want something in this package Shipping is probably going to be just as much as this. Is. <laughs> All right, up next, we're moving to the gas bullback section. And first up is a KW LM4 package. This includes two guns. One of them does not have an outer barrel, and it includes a bunch of magazines as well. I have three mags that are almost brand new and in really good shape. And then four that either need new feed lips or one, I believe, is leaky and one will not work. I would prefer to sell these together as I have no clue about gas blowback stuff. But if you are an LM4 guy and you love these, this one is basically brand new and this one has been used a lot. But they both still function from what I believe and they're still in pretty good condition, at least this one specifically. And it does come with the Myad Grib. All the mags, like I said, I would prefer to sell everything that I you see in this package all together. All right, up next is another gun that someone bought from me and then literally backed out last minute, so I took it apart. It does fit, everything is completely functional in this. This is actually in really, really good condition. Um, it's a PTS Mega Arms Matten, which is like a 308 rifle, and it looks super, super cool. I just have it ready to ship because like, again, you guys know I'm not a GBBR guy. They're really cool for their purpose, but I live in the Midwest and they literally don't work except for summer. Um, but it's a nice little build and it looks so, 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 so cool. All right, you guys have seen all the pistols in the background. Now it is time to move into the pistols. I have been working on sourcing and building a few high kappas, and so we're gonna start with TM high kappas. This is a super nice 4.3, literally so, so, so nice. Got a good parts list. This is a nice little basic, but still not super expensive build, but this one might shoot the best out of all the high kappas that I have. It cycles really crispy because it still has a plastic slide and it has a hoe grip on it as well. Super, super nice gun. 
All right, up next we have the nicest high kappa of the package. This is basically an entire Airsoft Masterpiece build. I've been working on this for a while. Those of you that watch for the past few months know that I'm working on this. However, I really went to build a orange high kappa and then do like a splatter paint Cerakote job on it. I think I have a dude that does it now that I was interacting with last night on Hop Up. And so I really want to be able to turn something nice into this. So I am going to sell this one and start a build from scratch. You guys just know with Corona and China and everything, it's kind of hard to get the slides and all the parts as well. All right, up next is another high cap package. This is a 4.3 and it will come with three W magazines. I have a lot of other high cap mags that you've seen earlier in the video at the magazine section, but this is a nice little 4.3 build. I believe this is WE. I'm not 100% sure. I thought it was a TM when I got everything, but I think based on the, um, it is upgraded now. It's not just like a stock WE, but I believe it is WE based on everything. I just think it has some TM parts on it externally, but it shoots really well. Up next is a CZP09. This is a really nice one. This is the full tan version. It does shoot well. These are a really nice ASG pistol. I think they feel really great and they perform well. Up next, first of the Glocks, we have an Elite Force um, Glock 17 Gen 4. This is nice. It has had some sort of weathering job done up top. It isn't in super bad condition, but the owner previously wanted to do a weathering job, and so it does shoot really well. It still cycles really well. It just looks a little weathered on the top, as you can tell by the video. All right, up next, we have an AW Custom Hex Glock. Glock, it's not actually technically allowed to be called a Glock, but it literally is an upgraded Glock. It shoots really well, and it cycles so nice. It has fiber optic sights. Uh, this is one of my favorite pistols that I've seen from AW Custom. I just like the high kappa platform better. Up next, we have an AW Custom Round 2. This is a 1911. This is their Silver Tribe 1911. It is really nice. It feels so cool externally. I love the stainless steel look, and it does shoot pretty well. It's got some nice little faux wood grips, um, but it's a cool little America platform. All right, up next, we have a uh, WE MNP. This is like the Toucan. I don't know what's wrong with this. There's something wrong with this, but it basically cycles, and it's fine, and it was brand new but it just doesn't lock so i'm guessing it's something hammer wise but i'm selling it cheap and i think these are hard to get now all right up next we have an elite force hater this is like a revolver i've never actually used these before and it comes with like six of these clip things um i've heard good things about them i've heard they're cool it looks really cool and it is a co2 non-blowback pistol up next we have another non-blowback no idea what brand this is but this is a makarov it looks really cool it feels pretty cool but it's super cheap and it actually uses gas in a magazine and it's i don't know what brand it is it might be like um hfc or something but it is really cool all right, last two guns of the unboxing sale video stuff. These are just two Springers. I'll probably end up throwing these in for free if somebody wants them in a package. Like I said, I will take precedent, those of you that buy more things. So if you want to be like, all right, I want this gun, that gun, this gun, I will give you one, a discount on those if you buy multiple things. And then two, I will also give you preference as opposed to somebody that's just buying one thing so I can kind of sell all the stuff together. Um, I appreciate you guys. Like I said, hop up Instagram, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, any of the way you want to contact me, I will upload this at seven i will be on vacation in south carolina all week with my family so i will sell the stuff that week and then i will ship it when i'm back for it as well you guys are the best i've seriously been getting so many letters from you guys um recently i put them on my instagram for those of you that have seen and follow my instagram um, but you guys are the reason i do this video and the reason i have so many guns i just need to offload some of them because i have clearly way too many i must show you a picture all right, listen up, folks. It's your boy, Battle Buddy Bird, back at it again. I'm just here to tell you guys to buy your buy your guns from Alcamac 111. You better do it fast because I don't know what the world's going to do tomorrow. So buy your dang deer, done to your guns, and uh, y'all have a safe uh, rest of your night. <laughs>